So a few years ago I made this Egyptian style bronze dagger and although I think it turned out great for one of my first casting projects, I decided to try again. This is what I came up with. I started this project by making a pattern that I could use to make a sand mold. I created a 3D model in Fusion 360 and then printed all four parts on my 3D printers. I then glued each half of the blades and handles together and then sanded and spray painted everything to give the pattern a nice smooth surface. The sand mold is made using an extremely fine oil bonded sand called Petrobond. If you're interested in more information on how the mold is made, check out some of my other videos. The stagger was cast in bronze, consisting of 10% tin and 90% copper. The copper was melted first and then the tin was added to the molten copper to create bronze. I then carefully poured the liquid bronze into the mold. Unfortunately my first attempt failed, because I didn't vent the mold sufficiently, the metal did not reach the tip of the blade. For my second attempt, I changed the direction in which the metal flowed into the mold, vented the mold near the blade, and laid the mold down at an angle so that the metal flowed more rapidly. My next attempt was a success. After it cooled, I cut off the excess metal and then went to work filing and sanding the handle and blade.
Next, I hammered the edges of the blade. This crushes the crystalline structure of the metal, making it harder and more durable. This process is called cold forging, or work hardening. Although I don't have much experience with this, I'm glad I did it because it made the edges of the blade noticeably harder. Next, I cut some walnut to inlay into the handle using my laser cutter. The laser cut out the rough shape of the handle, but I still had to custom fit each piece, which took a few hours. Once the walnut inlays were fitting properly, I glued them in place and coated them with several coats of varnish. I should have glued the handles in very last, but I got carried away and forgot that I still had to polish the metal. Next, I sanded everything one last time and then polished it. I left sharpening the blade until the very end so that I couldn't accidentally cut myself. To sharpen it, I simply filed the edges and then finished it up with a sharpening steel. I think this dagger turned out nicely and it feels a lot more usable at 15 ounces than my first version, which weighs three and a half pounds. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, tell me what you think, and subscribe for future projects.